Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Diamond12 here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prism. Last time, we actually made it to Fluxtown and if you're wondering why I am suddenly here, well, I did some grinding um, and decided to start it off with nice music, but it kind of got ruined by this uh, wild battle theme. But yeah, as you can clearly see by Volkner's level, it is now level 50. Um, so yeah, that doesn't mean... I did some grinding, so let's go ahead and do a little team recap. We haven't done that in a while, so let's go ahead and check it out. We obviously still have the Luxray. No Pokemon have been swapped around. Uh, Luxray holding the black classes with the Thunderfang base tremor. He actually learned that uh, while I was grinding, uh, which is actually a really strong sound type move. It has 100 base power, it's physical, and 100 accuracy as well, so that's really, really good. Um, and Night Slice and Power Ballad, that's all still the same. And Crystal is here with the Miracle Seed, um, holding that to boost up the energy ball. It also has Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, and Dark Pulse. And then, of course, our newest member, and the best member, because it's Salomon's. It's, it's just the best. Uh, being um, at a level 51, because that's actually what it was. Um, in the last episode too, because it got kind of over leveled, because we just needed to get it to a settlement as soon as possible. Um, it, so he hasn't really changed. He's holding that Dragon Fang uh, and has Dragon Claw, Hydro Pump, Zen Headbutt, and Fly. And then we have Daniel, the Bayonet, um, which hasn't really changed much either. He wanted to learn Disable, but I said no. So he's still holding a spell tag and it's, it's gonna boost that Shadow Claw, and um, it also has that Will O Wisp. Confuse Ray and a Dark Pulse, but the Shadow Claw really is all you need with Spell Tag. I mean, that is just does crazy amount of damage. I mean, look at his attacks, that man. 146. I mean, compared to Salamence, to be honest, I mean, that's nothing. But still, it's still really, really good. Look at these stat differences. Oh man, I feel so bad for you, Baynet. But you're still really cool. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. And then obviously, last but not least, we have Wrath, who actually learned Crunch. Thank God we don't have to use Bite anymore, and now we actually have that powerful Crunch. That's going to be very, very useful. Um, also still has the Dust Devil, Noise Pulls, and Earth Power. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and then we have Bluey, of course. I almost forgot about you. Uh, you actually learned Play Rough, so how could I forget about that? You know, Play Rough is... The best very physical move probably in this game so it's really good to have that combined with huge power it also still has the rock smash serve and strength just put all the hms on this thing really and then just have play rough but honestly having surf on it is really not that bad i mean it's still stab water move i mean i probably i probably have to get rid of one of these hms to get uh, replace it with waterfall at some point um, so I'd have to get something else strength or rock smash I mean I just I'm just gonna have to it's gonna be sad but I feel like I will need those uh, for later on but anyways that is enough of a team recap let's go ahead and move back over to Fluxtown and we are see this music this music is just very sad compared to the, the snowy theme music so i was like you know what i have to i have to go back there and just and just start off the episode here and yeah just a much better tune in the background honestly oh i should probably heal up my pokemon before i actually go back into the laboratory that is that's probably a good idea so let's do exactly that let's go ahead and heal up our pokemon and then we are going to go back into the lab and hopefully finish up everything in there, really. Um, what do I want to lead with, though? Um, I guess I'll go lead with Volkner, so I can show you guys the Bass Thunder, Base Thunder. Um, at least hopefully we get a chance to use it. Anyways, take the brown path. I guess we could have uh, started off here as well, because this music is pretty nice too. But <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and move up these stairs. We've already been here, this is where the Pokemon are being kept. So, obviously, there are some more switches around. Um, we haven't gone all the way over here to the left yet, so let's see what's up here. There's a cage card four. Hmm. Oh, 
have no idea what that does. See what? Let's check the description, just for the hell of it. Let's see. Cage card 4. Opens up a flux lab door. Well, that's very self-explanatory. Is it this? No? That's, is that even a door? I guess... The door is like... Right here? This is 6, 5, so this is 4. So, I guess our... What we need to do is... What the hell just happened? Why did... What kind of noise did I hear there? What was going on? But... Anyways... <laughs> So that opened that up. We I guess we freed that Pokemon, so that's cool. Um, but now, I guess we just have to get the switch. It's an electric panel. Looks complicated. Maybe it's used to unlock the door? Okay, so can I use it? Maybe not. Maybe I can't use it. What do you have to say? Being able to reverse engineer an electric Pokemon is fun. Try. Uh, no thanks. Well, we can't go over there, so you know what? Let's go back uh, down. Maybe something happened here. I mean, that Magmar did make a lot of noise. So I don't see anything, really. I don't see any path that we could go. Hmm. I am, uh, I'm slightly confused on what to do next. Let's take this panel. Let's see what this does. See what if anything has happened over here. Well, nothing has happened over there. Let's press this switch. There's nothing over there either. Hmm. Interesting. Well, in that case, what are we supposed to do? Oh. I guess Magmar opened up this door. Well, I didn't know that. I guess I didn't spot that at first. Well, and we got the uh, cage guard too. Well, um, I guess that opens up the one to Glaceon. So I guess the Glaceon froze something. But where? Oh, well, there we go. If you succeed, my carrier will be ruined forever. Just freeze that. Whatever that was, really. I don't even know what that green stuff was supposed to be at first anyways, but... I, I guess we'll take it. So here we go. We got a Gardevoir. Um, let's see... Base Tremors. Animation. Okay, that's cool. That's you know that's pretty cool, and it's super effective apparently. I'm assuming it's super effective against psychic, maybe, or maybe against fairy. That could be true as well. But it looks like we got a slowbro over here, and we—I just realized we still have not gotten a better electric type move. Isn't that rather unfortunate, to be honest? Oh well. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's okay. <sighs> Alright. I guess... Having done the thing, we'll do it for now. But we got a Porygon here. So... What is this Porygon weak to? That's the question. I mean, is it still a normal type, or is it the Tri-type? No idea. No idea, dude. I mean, if you were a tri type, I would probably be super effective against you with uh, Wrath's Dust Devil. So. Oh, you're a level 50. Well, I'm getting to think level 50 wasn't enough. Well, I just hope it is. Oh god, here comes Noise Balls. Are you a sound type as well? What is going on with you, Porygon Z? Okay, that's not very effective. I guess you are a sound type then. Hmm. Oh, this, that also means that Crunch is not very effective then, right? Why are you a sound type? You don't really have anything to do with sound, do you? Come on, Wrath, get through there. Well, that's neutral. I don't even know. Dude, I don't even know, man. 
Maybe Rocket's just not very effective against Try. I don't know. It's confusing. Oh well. Let's see here. Gonna use a Hyper Potion. To heal up Wrath. There we go. Alright, what's this? Cage card 5. That's just what I needed. Alright, I think this opens up 5. Oh, and you're electric type. That means you're gonna unlock that door, aren't you? Yeah, good job, Ampharos. Uh-oh. We got Mr. Greeny over here. Does this not go anywhere? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Enough of you! Tell me, what is your goal in life, huh? My goal is in life is to be financially stable for once. And here's you, trying to take all of that away. Do you think I care that it's unethical, huh? People around the world do unethical things to survive. Once those greedy people think they need product to compete in Pokemon battles, I will have all of the money I need to get everything I ever wanted. You are not going to go any further. Well. I mean, if you really want a good paying job that bad, then just do something else, man. Like, this is just not the answer, dude. This ain't the answer. I'm telling you. It's not. Plane split. The plane spit, though. I'll show you some pain. There you go. Another pain. Uh oh, Tyranitar. I forgot you had this thing. Um. Uh, I guess I'll go with the Bluey. Because I have to play rough now. Should do some damage. Level 52. My. Gosh, dude. Maybe level 50 wasn't enough. <laughs> Alright. I think Blair definitely does more than Rock Smash. Almost killing it. Hmm. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. That does devil. Considering I'm two levels lower. But hey, we take those. Alright, serves up. And goodbye to Rentar. Tyranitar, though, that's so scary. It's not even funny, dude. Oh, Victory Bell, huh? Victory Bell, huh? I got just a thing for you. Here's Crystal. Uh, sandstorm, though. Almost forgot about that, but it doesn't really matter. This victory bell can go away right now. Out of here. Alright, I have two more left. Ludicolo? Hmm, looks like a job for Alyssa. You can use that fly. Alright. Let's fly up high. Exactly like that. You miss your head around. Wahaha. <laughs> Cause I am up in the sky. And you're down for the count. Out for the count? Down for the count? I don't remember exactly what it is. <laughs> Alright, leave you on. You know what, I'll just stay in. I ain't scared of you. Another fly should do the trick. Fry attack? Hell no. Get out of here. None of that around here, Levion. Okay then. Persistent child, you always want to do the right thing, don't you? But guess what? The rest of the world don't really care what you need. Uh, get giving gets. Whoa, giving gets you nowhere in life. Taking is the only way to survive in this world today. <laughs> You're so wrong, sir. You are wrong, sir. You're a liar. You ain't right. Oh, is it Monchan gonna punch up that wall? What else do we have left? That's a Needle Queen? And then that's a Melodic. Okay. 
Wait, what? Is Melody gonna flood the entire place at the end? <laughs> Actually, I guess we won't be able to open up the Edo Queen. Oh, that's sad. Actually, this is probably the last one. Alright, so the Malalek definitely did something. No idea what, though. But, hey, it's the last one. So, Nita Queen, what are you gonna do? Hmm. Oh, so there's water now. Ah, so that's what that was for. But what did a Nita Queen do? I don't know, maybe Nita Queen created the stairs. Possibly. Anyway, it looks like we got some more scientists. Since I've been in charge of money, I've been setting aside some money for myself off to the book, so I'm set. Ah. Oh. You're one of those, huh? You blummin' cheat. Oh, I like how Gardevoir waves high at you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty cool. But take this ba base, th base tremor and get the hell out of here. That's such a weird move, or a weird name for a move, man. Base Tremor. So, funny thing is actually, you guys probably will see this when I'm actually um, on vacation. So, I will probably be in Turkey right now, because that's where I'm going, so, yeah. But I'm recording this all before it, of course, so that I have enough parts to upload enough so that'll be good. But yeah, take this flamethrower wheezing and get the hell out of here. I'm very excited to go there, man. I have not flown with a plane at all. Not a single time. So this is definitely going to be interesting. For me. But you guys probably don't care about that, right? You guys just care about me killing stuff with the crystal. Getting this exec executor out of here. Oh, come on. How did you live that? How? Crystal, I'm disappointed in you. I am disappointed, man. What is that? Alright. Fry these eggs, and there we go. I'll burn them. Burn them to a crisp. You're looking at a new executive of executor. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> You're so funny, dude. Not really, though. How many hot potions do I have left? Oh, I have nine? Oh, I'm good. I was gonna go back, but... No. No need for that. Alright. I guess we'll switch someone else in front for now. I spoke is already level 51. I don't have time for this, kid. There's still a lot of, ta of time cards that need fighting. Well, then, don't battle me and just let me move on. You totally want to do that, right? Hey, looks like I completely chose the right one for this. Don't freeze me, thank you. Oh, I missed. Though I missed. Guess I'll use Rock Smash then, just to make sure that I'm hitting. Still gonna kill you. I mean, it's four times super effective. Alright, slow bro. It's going to Daniel. You can handle this, right, Daniel? That spell tag boost a Shadow Claw. Coming right at you. I wonder if we're gonna learn that Ghost Hammer move that we saw a while ago. What Pokemon did I use again? There was a Pokemon that used that, but. I don't remember what it was. I don't even think it was a ghost Pokemon. Maybe it was. I don't know. I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember at all. But let's see if the Shadow Coke can one-shot you, even though you're two levels above me. You don't even think I should have grinded up to level 55, man. <laughs> These are gaining levels quickly, dude. Oh, 
It's like every trainer, or every like two trainers, the level increases. But, oh well. I'm glad you're taking over this company for me. Somebody had to. And once you do it, I'll come from behind and steal your victory. I'm not taking over the company, I'm gonna ruin your company, man. That's all I'm gonna do. Oh, hello, Guard War. Hmm, let's see if this play rough can one shot. What do you guys think? Will I be able to? I think I think so. It's a Guard War, and I'm a huge power Azumarill. Oh man, are you serious? Wow. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, that animation is better than the actual animation from X and Y. Or Sun and Moon. I mean, those are basically the same. Look at this! This is like Hyper Beam combined with Moonlight. I mean, I guess that's kind of what Moonblast is, so... I guess it makes sense. Alright, just so barely got the level 51 there. <laughs> uh, Gardevoir was trouble with that Moonblast. Alright, so you had a Magneton right there. I guess I'll uh, send out... Crystal here. Level 53? It's not even a Magnezone. That's... wow. I would have one-shot at you if it wasn't for that stupid sturdy. Hopefully I can get a level up here with Crystal. That would be nice. Yeah! That's what I like to see. I just think of what would have happened if I didn't grind up, man. That would have been scary. I have too many Dark type moves on my team, I just noticed. I mean, I have Dark Pulse with Daniel, I have Dark Pulse with Crystal, and I have Crunch with uh, Tyranitar, and I have Night Slash with freaking Luxray. It's, it's ridiculous. Maybe I can get a better move with the crystal. You know what, I should have probably not get rid of Tri-Attack and actually have gotten rid of uh, Dark Pulse, but... Oh well. Too late now. Maybe we can get like Thunderbolt for Daniel. Cause I know we can learn that. Wait, can Daniel learn Thunder? I think he can. I don't know if I want to learn it to him, though. Oh yeah, he can. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm good for now. Don't really want to risk missing, to be honest. Right, nothing there. It looks like this is the end of the room. So I guess you are the boss? Let's lead up with Wrath. I see you're here. A <laughs> child cannot fathom all of the numerous factors that move in this world forward. There was no in in that sentence, but who cares? I don't understand how little one can accomplish by clinging to such weak-minded, pretty ideals. When I was young, I believed the improvement of Pokemon came from understanding the individuality. That's a long word. And so I set out to clone Pokemon in order to prove my hypothesis. <laughs> Unfortunately, after the cloning incident with which created Mewtwo, cloning of- wait, wait, hold on. Cloning of Pokemon what land? Okay, I, th I thought for a second that you were one of the guys from that revived Mewtwo or something, but yeah. Life's work was stolen from me. I wanted to discover the strength in the individuality of Pokemon. Yes, it was the strength of an individual Pokemon that took away everything I'd built in life. Since then, I have devoted my time into building a medical research company sworn to the advancement of mapping through the full genetic augmentation of all Pokemon. 
you may not agree with what I do, but it's men like me that keeps the world moving ever forward. Always, Pokemon are simply tools for us. But tell me, so you may know the superiority of my genetic plea, the ultimate Pokemon. Wow, okay. Scientist number one. Haha, <laughs> he is the number one. Alright, let's let's see if you really are the number one, mister. Let's see it. Oh man, then you got a lead over the grass type, didn't you? Uh, you had to. Hmm. Um... Does gas resist? I think grass resist crunch. What about sound? Oh, let me just try crunch. Actually, crunch is neutral. Never mind. I wasn't sure if it resist resisted. I thought gas resisted crunch for whatever reason. I think it resists rock, but it doesn't resist dark. So we should be fine with that. There we go. We can get out of here. So far, so good. That was pretty easy. And then comes the Magneton. Hmm. Uh, you know what, I can stay in. Oh, then again, you might have Flash Cannon. Might not have been a good idea. Hmm, let's see here. I might be able to live with uh, Flash Cannon now, considering Sandstorm is up. Yeah, of course you have the Sturdy. Alright, Flash Cannon. Let's see, can you live this, Wrath? Oh, yes you can. Good job. Good job! Crunch and get the hell out of here, Magneton. Alright, and... Oh, you have a Magnezone as well? Hmm. What does Alyssa have? Alyssa has a Zen Headbutt, Fly, Dragon Claw, and Hydro Pump. The only thing I would be able to hit him with is Hydro Pump, so that's not really an option. So let's go ahead and go into Crystal then. It's like my only option here. It's my only option, so let's do it. It's level 55, man. It's crazy. I might have to do some more grinding after this. Uh, we'll see, though. We will see. You know what I just realized, though? If there are really so many regions, then... Won't <laughs> level 100 be too little? Because, you know, you would travel around every region. You would probably get over a level 100. I'm not sure. You know what, I'm gonna do something risky here. I, d I really don't have to do this. I can just simply switch into Daniel and use Shadow Claw, but... Let's go and go for the energy ball. Let's do it. It's a two-shot. Okay, go for the waterfall. They shouldn't kill me. Alright, good. And one more energy ball, and goodbye. Aha, playing it risky out here, but it worked. It worked. And now you have a Porygon Z. Guess I'll go into Alyssa. Let's do this. Let's do this! Alright, Dragon Claw, here we go. That's Dragon Fang boosted. Take it. Oh no, are you kidding me? You have, what? <sighs> what are the chances of you having Blizzard and actually landing it as well? Like, and getting a crit. Like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, you, sir, are a lucky bugger. Well. Because it's up to you to finish it. Wokner, Void Spear. Ah, uh, we take those. Oh, that's super effective. So, you are a sound type then, in that case. Interesting. You must have a secondary typing, though. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Well, well. We meet again, my young friend. Once again, you've managed to do the job of the police. I swear, you must be getting some extra information from someone on the uh, inside. Anyways, you've done good work here, kid. Darn good work. Thanks to you, this corporation will pay hefty fines. And all those involved will be getting some prison time as well. And the Pokemon will be rehabi 
reha rehabilitated and sent back to their original trainers. You know, kid, you did break out of sexy fridge. Sexy fridge. If you didn't help us out, you'd be sent right back. But since you've helped out on our investigations, I'm giving you a full pardon. Since this case is closed, it's time for me to go back to do what I enjoy doing at home. Being the one and the only gym leader of Spurge City. Ah, now we can do it. I'm sure you'll be seeing... I'm seeing you real soon for a visit. And next time I see you, you should be prepared for a tough fight. Because I don't just let anyone up to Raijun's League to show off my precious badge. So I guess... Naljo doesn't have his own region, or our own Pokemon League, so we're gonna have to do the Rajon Pokemon League instead. But, I guess that's fine. I guess that is okay. I don't really mind. However, what I'm still confused about is how there are, like... Like, there's like three and more regions, but then there is like... Only... Uh, let's say there's like eight, there's like 12, uh, 13 more batches left. And we have three more regions after this, so I guess we won't be fighting every gym leader in Johto and Kanto then or something. But, anyways, let us move over to the Pokemon Center, wherever it is, I forgot. Um, and I think we are going to end up this episode here. Next time, we will move to Spurge City and take on the next gym. I might do some grinding beforehand, I'm not sure, but we will see that in the next episode. So, hope you guys have enjoyed for now, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.